That's how we ought to be in, in this faith. That's how we ought to be in this truth. Hey, because we have to be constantly flowing like moving waters. Now, when you're stagnant, you develop bacteria. When you're stagnant, you begin to stink. When you're stagnant, you plateau. Meaning what? That you are at a particular point in time to where you're no longer growing. You know, if you're no longer growing, then you are not useful. If you're not useful, then you're not needed. If you're not needed, then you're going to be destroyed. So the particular gifts and talents pursuant to the book of Matthew that you have, you have to be able to utilize those talents. Now Satan is going to attack those talents. He's going to attack your confidence. He's going to attack your faith. He's going to attack different things to try to slow you down ultimately because he wants you to stop so he can destroy you. You know, but those particular things there go right into what? Ecclesiastes, the ninth chapter. Because you have to ultimately end up being one that beateth not the air. You know, you got to fight with a purpose. So fighting with a purpose is what allows you to continue and endure until the end. Because the race isn't given unto the swift, to the strong or the mighty. It's given unto those that endure, able to pace themselves and to ultimately do what? Finish. Now the brother Bayard down here in Mississippi, he always goes into uh, the different types of men there are in the world. You got the starters, and that's what they're good at. They're great at starting. They're great at implementations. But the execution aspect of it, that's where another skilled man comes into play. He's an executor, which is what? A finisher. Every person isn't a finisher. That's why the Heavenly Father gave us the brotherhood. He gave us these different spirits and different uh, characteristics of man in order to help those that are lacking in other areas. Because everybody doesn't have that same drive. Everybody doesn't have uh, the, same, the same confidence, the same, I guess you can call it the same drive when it comes to finishing, when it comes to starting, when it comes to motivation, you know? Hey, because even uh, Thomas, Thomas did what? Thomas doubted. He had to, to be able to place his hands in the holes of your house shy's piercings, man. And when you look at that scripture, he wasn't, he wasn't uh, cut for that. He wasn't corrected for that. He wasn't um, beat over the head for that, for doubting. But he ultimately was sent forth as an example. He was sent forth as an example on, you know, certain men will have different levels of faith. That doesn't make them wicked. It doesn't make them none righteous. Hey, but the Heavenly Father is a merciful power. He's a merciful power and he, he grants unto us the, the particular things that are needed in order to endure and serve him with the utmost confidence. Because that confidence goes into what? In, in us being bold, being bold in the day of judgment. When we stand before that throne as you know, <laughs> the world goes into in judgment day, we'll stand there and be bold and be confident and be able to stand. Because ultimately that means what? That we know that we did all that we, could do we did all that was needed to be able to receive that salvation receive that judgment that correct judgment right to be to be exempt from judgment because being exempt from judgment is ultimately what Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai has set forth for the elect because you got two types of the marks out there so if we have the mark of if we have the mark to be exempt from judgment, which is different than the mark of the mark of the beast. Because the mark of the beast, anybody takes the mark of the beast, their, their fate is already set right then and there. But those men that are exempt from judgment, then their fate lies in the hands of being redeemed. So you got redemption and you got damnation. But it all depends on that particular race that you run. If you don't finish the race, then you're not going to receive that salvation.
Hey, so most sides willing. Hey, the edification is there. Lord well, will I come back with the second, second phase, this third phase of this particular topic here. This pump isn't working, so I need to merge on to another one. Till next time, I say shallow one.